designs because this entire line comes from one woman's passion to recreate what the old world made so beautifully and she does it today. So much handwork, the quality is unmatched. We have a beautiful saddlebag design that is one of the icons in Patricia's line and it was done just for you. We'll get into all the amazing details but I think we all need phenomenal bags, we do. And when we carry a bag, it's so much of who we are and it's so important to who we are. It's sort of the epicenter of our world is what is in our handbag. So carry some of the very, very best and that's what you're seeing tonight with the Patricia Nash design. The price again, we'll never do this again. It is amazing. When I first saw the pictures, because all I saw to begin with were the pictures. I didn't get to see the bag in person. And I thought, 149, that's amazing. I have her bags, I'll prove that a little later. And I thought, boy, it's going to be kind of a mid side, maybe a small to mid size saddle bag. Look at the size of this. And then look at the color too. This is the amazing turquoise. So I'm going to go through the colors, and then you're about to meet the incredible designer behind this. She has a passion unlike any other handbag designer I have ever met in my life. So we have the turquoise, this is the number one most popular right now. If you look right down below me, this is number two right now, and it's beautiful. This, of course, is called the Natural Tooled. Beside me, I have the map. It is my all-time, all-time favorite. I love her map design. I think it is so old world and so elegant. That's called map. Down below, in front of me on this side, this is the Golden Tooled. Then we have the Black Tooled. And then finally, we have the new palm print, which again is brand new. So I want to introduce you to Patricia Nash, who is the passion behind the line. Hi, Patricia. Welcome back. Hi. How are you? Happy anniversary. Well, thank you. It's I'm excited. It's her first anniversary here, but actually you've been creating these bags for many, many years. I know. Yeah. I know. Many, many years, but it's been such a great audience here at HSN. We've Thanks. had so many great calls and and wishes and appreciation <laughs> that I'm just so excited. It's wonderful and we'd love to hear from you tonight too. We've got two big hours. Oh my goodness. We will have yes. something for everyone tonight. And I do want to point out right off the bat before these are gone, we have a matching wristlet wallet that I love, love, love that was designed just for today. Maybe it's the way you step into her collection. If you'd like to do a matching look, if you want to give a gift idea, I just want to point out I have all the colors in the wristlet as available. And we'll show you some other stuff a little bit later. So where do you want to start with this? You want to talk about the love behind it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, first of all, as we discussed with the buying team in New York, this is such a crazy value that I know it won't happen again. And I know that's easy to say, but it is so true. So I hope everyone takes advantage of this opportunity. No kidding. Um, and, and the tooling has been a love of mine forever. Tooling is something globally that people from all kinds of cultural backgrounds, all kinds of countries can remember or relate to. When you were a kid on a holiday, whether it was your grandfather that used to tool or your uncle, or maybe it was your aunt or your mother, but not just what you witness, but it became a cultural piece of so many different countries or states in the sure, U.S. Sure. So when I tried to bring it back, I wanted to bring it back in a real authentic look. Mm -hmm. And so we do these customized by hand. Every bag is unique to the next one. Oh. If you held two turquoise bags right up to each other, you would see that there were some differences in the bag. Look at that. You would see, like, see how this flower is a little lighter than this flower here? Yeah. And see this, how lighter this is than that? It's because they're all hand stained and then hand burnished, which is then <laughs> waxing all of that finish onto there. And so the ink goes heavier and lighter in some areas, but it creates a customized one of a kind bag for you. And here's the exciting part too, is this is a bag you will love for a lifetime because it's covered for a lifetime by Patricia and her team. That's amazing to me. And the bag gets better with age. It's yes. like a great fine wine. Explain that because the way you do the process, you pick the leathers, all the hand workmanship, it really does age magnificently, doesn't yes. it? Yes. I mean, if you look at, um, probably a back of a bag would be a really great thing to look at. The back of the bag is burnished too, but because the tooling isn't here, you can see all the different grain in the leather. You can see the high and low of the burnished color, and you can see some of the characteristics of the leather. That's all a natural look of a top grain leather. A lot of the brands wouldn't even attempt to do this kind of look because they literally cut off the top of it and put down like a plastic coating on top of the leather so it hides right. the inferior quality of those skins. Only one out of every three hides, or to put it 
uh, like the tannery did last week to me. One million out of three million square feet is what was chosen for Patricia Nash and the last production of leather. And I think it's exciting because you even work with the tanneries to custom make specific yes. leathers for all your design. All and that's of, amazing. All, yeah, all so of this isn't off, off the rack. She's just, oh, no. we're just picking whatever no. they got. Yeah, no. yeah, no. No, we get the hides at the, into the tannery and we tan it. And we tan it just like the Italians did hundreds of years ago. Mm. We use a lot of vegetables tanned, in fact, the bark of a mimosa tree, Italian mimosa tree to do our vegetable tan leathers. And we, we the process is, is very natural to all our leathers. So it keeps that characteristic and over time becomes softer and, and, and just really fits your body. It becomes, you know, the oils in your hand and the oils in the skin combined together just really start to create more highs and lows in the leather and just that, it just becomes like butter. Oh, and it's just one of those bags that once you get one of her designs at home, you are open the box, you'll pull it out of the box and you can literally feel it and smell it. You know both. You know it means impeccable workmanship, just the most unbelievable quality. The size you're gonna love, I'll do some dimensions and then Patricia, I know you're gonna walk us through the bag because sure. it's a smart bag on top of that okay so here we go it's 11 and a quarter inches long by four and a half wide 10 inches high and the strap adjusts from 21 and a half to 24 and a half it can easily be a crossbody that's how I'm wearing the mat bag so you can wear it easily crossbody or you can put it just over your shoulder but you know you're going to pick up a new bag and if you're going to buy a bag why not get one of the very best in the world I mean it is just a truly wonderful experience to carry and own a Patricia Nash design and I'm going to prove it because I I just posted my bag at home. Did you? <laughs> now remember, I told you I'm a map fan. So notice as I walk over here, slide, look the one I'm carrying, I'm wearing in the matte yes. bag. And I have the matte uh, slide on shoes, these mules, which are adorable. So now we're gonna go to my house. Patricia, if you don't mind, yes. we'll take a little quick stop. There's no, the very I first saw bag. It. I it's it's I, saw I love it. the map. I love the quality. Girls, you will be so passionate about a handbag. And the fact, Patricia, that it's not one and done. You don't wear it for two weeks, hit a rainstorm and all sudden thing melts on you. No. It's not full of really bad cardboard filler. These are all just think the best you can buy and then that's really the experience yeah. that you're getting tonight. These are so beautifully yes. made. Yeah. They, they're meant to live with us. They're yeah. meant to live with us and they all take on their own natural beauty over time and that's what I love about it and that's what I'm sharing with a lot of people. It's a great silhouette. This is a vintage style. Saddlebags have been around. I mean, my first inspiration was a male saddlebag over a saddle oh. that I saw in, in Barcelona. So that's where it all started with my love for saddlebags. And this one I feel is a great shape because you can stuff it as much as you want with so much things. But then if you just want to carry light in it, it looks natural the way it just is slouchy on your body. Yeah, it's, it's very lightweight and it really is a functional bag. I mean, any great vintage bag, if it doesn't fit today's woman, then it really doesn't do us any good, does it? Right, true. So to Absolutely. start with, every bag has to have a great pocket. One that you would have right there at your body. If you need your keys real quick to get out of there, phone. you need your phone to call somebody really quick, you want to have that quick, easy access here. And that has a good mag snap on it, and it's towards your body. When you open up the flap, you see this is full leather, another piece of 100% genuine suede on the backing of, this, uh, of the flaps. Oh. And then here is a great pocket. You could put a reader here. You could, again, you could put sunglasses. There's just so many things you could put right here. And then when you open it up, you see what a great area this is. It's a super area. It's great. Look at that. Plenty yes. of room. And it's got a great zipper wall on the back side with the logo patch, Patricia Nash logo patch. And then on the other side, it's got two elastic pockets. I use these all the time for my sunglasses or my glasses. I can't find my case. I don't know where I put it. I put it in here and because this is a beautiful faux suede lining, it doesn't scratch up the glasses. Right. So it's fantastic benefit for that. So that's your main area on that. And again, you can put as much as you want. I think we, look, uh, we put a lot of things in here just so you could get an idea of it. <laughs> and here, you didn't completely stuff it. Well, you gotta no, see. Yeah. It's not even completely full. Okay. Yeah, do you see that? So here's one of the Patricia Nash umbrellas. Here's an eye case. Here's a little coin purse. 
Here's a phone case, and it, it's not even a no, third of the way she full. She has none of the pockets filled yes. either. I mean, so. this one's got a lot more to go. <laughs> if you're like yeah. me, there would be a lot more in there. So it's really a great, great bag, but like I said, you can flex it as much as you need or as little as you need. Right. So you don't have to have that heavy weight on your back if you don't want it. And again, if you want really hands-free with a crossbody or long shoulder strap, it's I really functional. I have to functional. give an update, Miss Patricia, too. Yes. Your beautiful golden color, we're down to the final 250. Oh, this wow. is the last chance to get the golden color, and that is such a classic. I mean, if, yes. And if you're a blue jean girl, I have my G by Juliana jeans on right now. I mean, you can't go wrong with that color. Yeah. In the turquoise, I do want to give an update on the turquoise as well. This has been the most popular. And it was interesting because you said earlier before we went on the air, and there's 550 left, so last call here. Wow. You said your turquoise has really kind of um, exploded in popularity. It's oh, yeah. It's really taken on as a core, kind of an iconic heritage collection for us yeah. because we do it with all the studs that are tur turquoise and it just is such perfect color and look we'll for these trends but we don't do anything for anyone at this size in turquoise at this price so this is a very unique situation that we included the turquoise and, in and I will totally want to point that out this is a really big big deal um, Patricia only does a couple today's specials a year uh, last time we did one together too it yes. was crazy wildly popular it completely sold out this is so special because this would retail in some of the best boutiques in the world. Trust me, you'd have to go in and kind of catch your breath uh, at $229. And I think that's being somewhat conservative. Uh, uh, yeah, that's um, what we would have sold it at a regular price. But right. another person would have sold it at, I'm sure, at least $299, $399. $399. Yes. And so that $149 really is important. Um, and I know, you know, you're like, well, you're like, whatever. No, 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 you'll understand it when you get <laughs> it at home. And this will be a bag if you give this a gift or you treat yourself. I promise you, from my own personal experience, you'll fall in love with it it's not just just an everyday oh i just grabbed a bag off a rack what if you you truly for me patricia can sense the workmanship the passion the love the thoughtfulness and the quality and oh my gosh it is out of the box moment you touch it and you're like oh i get it i get it you know this is a bag that you'll carry and you'll carry it not for 10 days or 10 weeks we're talking 10 years plus because they cover it with a lifetime of love they said look if anything and i love that from you guys i mean you could you'd be out of business if they fell apart yes uh, but no they they feel so strongly and you feel so strongly about the line that you say we're going to give you a lifetime guarantee on it yes it's remarkable we always try to take care of the bags yeah we do yeah. i mean it, it is important these are such unique bags and if this is the first time you've been introduced to patricia nash and now go into the department stores you will see that there's really nothing like this no. everything is becoming a sea of the same no. and there's so many followers and there's not a lot of unique creativity out there and a passion for something that triggers an emotional re response to us. I mean, these bags make you think of traveling abroad or they remind you of that bag in your grandmother's closet or your mother's closet or that bag you had in high school. Or as a young 20 plus year old, you're like, oh my gosh, look at this vintage bag. It's so, so cool. <laughs> yeah. And so it really is an emotional connection to the brand that there's just not too many many people that care that much anymore that put yes. all of what I put into a bag so I'm very proud of what we do all right over 6,100 sold again just an update turquoise number one the golden's almost gone so if you want the golden that is almost completely sold out and the natural tool here's another update this is actually catching up so oh there's only 290 left wow these, so one two these two specifically, I, I honestly wouldn't wait too much longer. We're going to do another look next hour, and I expect these both to be gone. They won't even be an option here in a couple of minutes. But we're going to head to the phones and say hello to Catalina here in Florida. Hi, Catalina. You're on with Patricia and Suzanne. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Catalina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I love your purse. I've been watching you all morning and I said oh I gotta break down and get it because it's so luscious and <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> Aw, thank you so much for telling me so you choose the black yes I did oh. I like the same. It's a great color. I'm sure you're going to love it. Wait till you see all the highs and lows of the gray on that flap and the floral tuling. I'm, I'm really excited for you 
Thank you so much for bringing it in to HSN. Oh, you're well, welcome. Thank you for being with us, Catalina. Oh, thank you. So sweet. And you know, with a name like Catalina, you need this bag. This <laughs> yes. just says you. Catalina, <laughs> she lives in Florida. She's going to rock a great bag. But, yeah. You know, and a lot of women say, well, you know what? And, and we can all do it. We've all done it before. How guilty are you of this? You've seen a bag. It matches an outfit. You're like, oh, I just need a new bag. So you grab whatever at the mall off a rack. And literally, it starts to tear here. Something falls apart. The magnetic closure stops working. Thing. Something you know rips in this in the back because it just is not good quality. And you're like, now I spent forty nine dollars on that bag. Dad got it. It shouldn't have fallen apart. Well, you spent forty nine dollars on the bag. You know, so if you can do it, especially with our flex pay tonight, you deserve. And we all need a great bag. They're very much our personalities. If you see the bags I have at home, you know, wow, yeah, that really does fit my mood. It's my thought pattern. It's who I am. And I think they are expression of who we are. And Patricia and your team, they do a beautiful job of being able to extend that expression of you through a gorgeous handbag. You have no idea how amazing these bags are until you get it out of the box. And if you don't love it, you know what? I want you to send it back, but this is gonna be a bag crush. This is not one that you pull out and go, nah, are you kidding me, boo hoo. No, 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 you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is the prettiest bag I've ever owned in my life. And that is something to get excited about because they're essential to our lives. The, you know, our handbag is the epicenter of who we are and what we do, isn't it? Yes. It's everything. We it's all very think our computer. We, we all think our computers are the epicenter. They're not. It's a girl's handbag, and you should carry the very best you can. And Patricia has done this for one night, one time, and this is it. She will not repeat this size. I at this price, I, you no, can't imagine you doing it again. I can't. I yeah. can't afford to. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'd like to stay in business. Let's yeah. say hi to Sonia in Tennessee. Hi, hi Sonia. Sonia. I'm with Patricia. Welcome. Hi. How are you all? I'm well, good. How are you? I'm great because I just bought another Patricia Nash handbag. Yay! <gasps> and you got the turquoise. I, I, I got the turquoise. Oh, and so I just pretty. want to tell everybody out there, if you do not own a Patricia Nash handbag, you should get one because I promise you, that's the only handbag you'll ever buy. Oh, they wow. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> the quality is, I don't even look at anything else anymore. Wow. And I'm almost ashamed to tell you how many I have because I do have quite a few. How many oh. do you have? Come on, tell us. Pardon? How many do you have? I have about 32. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> but you know what? Talk a little bit about that quality because people cannot touch this right now. What would you tell somebody if they couldn't touch it? Oh, uh, you just, when you, if you order one, when you get it, like you said, when you take it out of the box, you just will not believe the quality. I mean, yeah. I've owned some other, you know, high quality, well, high-end purses, but the quality does not even compare to isn't, Patricia Nash. Isn't that amazing, I mean, too? You know, the details, you know, she, so, she thought everything out, you know, like the pockets inside, the pockets outside. I mean, it's just so convenient for everything. And I love the lining that she puts in all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just awesome. You can stick your glasses in there, not worry about them getting scratched. I mean... It's just, they're amazing. Well, I love oh, you're it. amazing too. I'm, <laughs> I'm so thrilled you're enjoying them. I really, really I am. am. It's so funny because I've gotten people at work, you know, buying them now because they just love mine so much, you know, <laughs> and then when they see them, see the quality, sure. they're like, where can I get one? So. Well, number 33 is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia, thank you so wow. much. I yeah. appreciate your kind words. And it, but it's so true. You do. You'll have that open the box experience and you'll go, oh! And it's kind of, I, 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 I wish you could reach through the screen and really touch and feel this because only the very best leathers, that's what Patricia and the team use, and you'll feel it, you'll know it. How supple they are, how lightweight. If you've got a really heavy leather bag, believe it or not, that's bad leather. You think, oh, it's gotta be heavy. No, 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 no. The lighter, the more supple, the more gorgeous, the more drape a leather has, the actual more expensive it is, it's higher quality. So it's not like you start off with a big cardboard heavy bag and then add yeah, all your stuff to it. Yeah, when something looks more natural, and it and it's treated more naturally when you hear it's hand burnished and things like that you wouldn't do that on a bad leather because you would see through that and that's why one of the reasons you can really tell the difference because some of these other leathers from these high end brands that you see you're not even really sure what kind of leather it is or if it is leather because it's got such a heavy coating of some kind of finish on it that it, the whole thing is totally uniform and you, you just, it just, 
you're not even sure what it is. Isn't that funny? And, and, and I'm sure they hide a lot of stuff underneath all that. And, and, that's and yet, why. cha-ching, $1,000 uh, later, yes, you're like, I oh, I got a designer bag. And truly, they don't understand what's hidden down below. Yeah, so it takes a lot of courage to do a bag like this because you have to know that you got to hope your customer out there appreciates that they're all going to be, have a natural characteristics on some places on the bags. You know, that they're just a natural piece of leather. So Does it ever, it's going to age Do you ever go into a store and you're, you know, because you're just seeing what's out there and you grab a bag and just go, this is ridiculous. Oh, all the time. <laughs> That's when I just <laughs> make you crazy? Well, yeah, what makes me crazy when I discovered that to legally sell a leather bag in the United States, it just has to be 51% or more leather. And I didn't know that until I started seeing some high-end leather bags that oh I could tell, God. like, the, the credit card walls inside were not leather. Behind the handles Gosh. was a matching faux leather that they were matching up to the bag. And that's totally legal, and they could do that. But I thought to myself, I don't want to do that. I want 100% leather bag. I would think you would be appalled. I mean, I, I was I know shocked. your personality. And they were more expensive than mine. <laughs> You're like, what's so up with that? So I was like, wow. Yeah, and I also think you can even a lot of times we'll show a lot of handbags you'll see stuff on television you go that looks nice I actually think this almost oozes how good it is across the TV screen a lot of times I'll say oh when you get it in person it is it's a great experience but I think you can really recognize that from home can't you well I love our tight shots when you're seeing them because you can really see that beautiful finish that that gorgeous gorgeous hand tooling effect look at that you can really just tell from the screen that this That's is hand finished it, you yeah truly you can. can tell a machine didn't do that yes exactly and I think we've got some great foot do we have the footage of the burnishing and all that because I think this is amazing Kind of walk us through what we're about well, to so see. So here is when we're just hand cutting out the panel. Now here's when they're embossing the the logo one by one inside the bag to really to, to that show the on. on authenticity of the bag. Here's when we burn the edges, By just hand. like they did on bags 100 years ago with that one. Look, here's Look that burnishing. Wow. And here's the hand braiding. So there's not these machines that do the, all the twisting and turning or conveyor belts that they come off. And right. you know, this is all done by hand. Think of it like a hot waffle iron. That makes the embossing. And then after that, it's all by hand finishing. And if it was really bad leather, guess what? It would just burn right through it. They couldn't handle well, even the embossing yeah. part, right? Yeah, and some of the leather won't even take the tooling. It'll just fade out. Yeah, so you don't get that really because sharp Because if it's feel really it. bad quality leather, it's kind of loose grain, and it starts to kind of separate and fall That's apart. All right, this yeah. is the turquoise. Number one best-selling right now. The two most limited, though, little heads up, is going to be your natural tool and your golden tool. These are almost completely sold out. Golden tool uh, is almost gone. You will not see this next hour. Just get, I'm just warning you, okay? I have less than 100, so this one we won't even see again. Here's your natural. Then map just personally is my personal favorite. That's the one I have at home. It's how I started my Patricia Nash collection, <laughs> and I'm a handbag girl. I always say my weight might go up and down all the time, but I can rock a great handbag and a great pair of shoes. <laughs> now, the shoes are getting a little iffy. I might have to go down to just the handbag. And again, I'm very particular about my handbags. I just personally love the map. The black, we had a caller just a few moments ago, grabbed the black. And then the last color which is a beautiful new yeah. one, which is actually a print, right? This yeah, is called this the palm. Yeah, this is palm leaves, and yeah. I love that. And you know, we haven't even talked about the story of that, but this came from a chiffon vintage dress I found in Paris, and it was from the cool. 1940s, beautiful, breezy chiffon, and I thought, wow, this is such a beautiful print. You could wear it with anything. You could, you, it's just, it was so special that That's I great. took it to, to, brought it back, we amended the artwork, Took it to Santa Croce, and That's here great. it is. I love it. All right, like Barbara in New Mexico. Hi, you're on the air with Patricia and Suzanne. Welcome to HSN. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> I just wanted to call today and thank you so much for a bag that I bought one year ago today uh, and your premiere uh, show. Uh, oh. It was the satchel bag. It was in the turquoise. Oh. And I am, as you said, I'm a purse gal and have lots of them in my closet. I haven't carried another bag since I purchased that one. Wow. It is wow. Amazing. How's it holding Shape up a year later? I, I can't believe it. It just, it's beautiful. I design and make uh, jewelry, and the wow. majority of it is turquoise. That's why I purchased oh, that bag, wow. thinking. You know, it'll go with my accessories. Well, guess what? I haven't carried another bag since. Aww. I 
love it. Your, That's amazing. Your bags are beautiful. Something you haven't talked about that much is the hardware. This bag had some pewter hardware on it, and it's substantial. It holds up. Again, I've carried it every day for a year, and I absolutely love it. And it's as beautiful as the day I bought it. Oh, that's Aww. wonderful. Barbara, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're a year just, later. They're just going to make You know, me all her other bags are in the closet all sad. She has all these sad bags. And they're like, there goes the turquoise one again. <laughs> but she's right. I do use.